The Mustard Seed Media video podcast is sponsored and created by Mustard Seed Media Inc., creating and developing media and web for tomorrow's Christian ministries. On the web at mustardseedmedia.com. Okay, so let's open up Drupal.org and let's do a little CMS magic. Okay, so let's start with this Photoshop document here and let's turn this thing into a website. Get right down to it and edit some CSS, shall we? Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast where we talk about stuff for Drupal web designers. Yes, I threw in Drupal this week because that's mostly what we talk about, and it will be no different today. We're going to talk about a cool new module for the Drupal CMS that we just started using at Mustard Seed last week, and it is brilliant. Here's what happened. Uh, One of the clients that we have came to us and said, hey, we want to be able to choose different themes for different blocks in our Drupal site. Uh, We want them to be able to look different, but we don't want to have to alter any CSS to do it. We want it all in the front end interface. Uh, We want to be able to select, just select which theme we want, basically, on our blocks page uh, and be able to, that'll automatically retheme the entire block uh, to some preset themes that you're going to create. Uh, So we ended up using the block theme module. We're going to look at that today. Uh, It is a great module. Uh, Let's just take a look and I'm going to show you how to implement it. It's very cool. Uh, It's written by Jacob, Jacob Singh. I uh, don't know who he is, but he rocks apparently because this module is awesome. And you're also going to see that it is in Drupal 6 and Drupal 5. We're using the Drupal 6 beta, and it seems to work just fine. So the first thing we did, of course, was downloaded the module. Uh, you're going to find it in the other section, and we're going to go ahead and enable that. One reference that reference that you're not going to be able to live without is the readme.txt file in the module folder. Check that out. And the first thing we're going to look at, we're going to have to go to the uh, block theme settings page. And what we're going to do is we're going to define uh, a couple of our themes. The way block theme module works is we basically can write some custom block.tpl.php template files, and it will recognize them and apply them uh, when one of those files is selected through the blocks uh, interface. So what we have to do is we have to define what the name of our different template files are going to be. Uh, So here's the first key right here. We've got uh, a machine readable name, and then we have a human readable name. So let's go ahead and go into the uh, block theme settings, and we're going to define a couple blocks. We're going to call one red block, and we're going to call one black block. We're going to save that configuration. And now what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create those new tpl.php files. Uh, Again, if we go back to uh, the readme, you'll see here's the naming convention that we need to use, block dash my machine readable name dot tpl dot php. So we're going to go ahead and create a couple new files uh, for our two uh, different themed, uh, two different theme selections we made here uh, or that we created. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to grab my original block dot tpl dot php file from my theme and I'm going to duplicate it. That way we're starting off with some basic code and we're going to call it block theme dash my machine readable name and then I'm going to do the same thing again for the black block okay so now we've got these two theme files uh, that we've created and I'm going to go ahead and open them up and the only thing I'm going to do I'm going to do one thing and you can do a bunch of other stuff if you want if you want to lay them out different or whatever all I'm going to do is add a class a CSS class to it so on the black block I'm going to add a black block CSS class. On the red block, I'm going to add a red block CSS class, and we're done, basically. Um, Something to remember about Drupal 6 is it caches the crap out of everything. Uh, Absolutely everything gets cached, and it's hard to clear. So we need to go to the performance screen, go all the way down to the bottom, and hit the clear cache data button. Uh, That's going to clear out and make sure that it recognizes those new tpl.php files I just created. So let's go into our blocks menu and let's choose a couple of blocks and uh, you can see how you select these. Very simple. Uh, Let's configure the who's new and we'll configure navigation. So what you see now is this new custom theme and our two block styles that we've defined. Let's make the navigation block a red block and let's make the who's new block a black block. Now if we look Uh, Just at this point, obviously, uh, they look no different. Everything looks exact same. That's because we haven't added our CSS yet. So let's go into our style sheet. 
and just add a couple real simple uh, styles. So let's define the red block as having a red background and white text. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to do that with links also. Uh, just because uh, we've got a bunch of links. So I'm just going to color the links white. Uh, let's ditto that for the black block. We'll just change the background color though. And all we're going to do is change the ba background color on here to black. Now if we go back and we shift refresh, we're going to see that we now have our two brand new themed blocks that um, are themed just from the selector. So the idea here is if you're setting this up for a client or for someone else who's going to use your site, uh, you set up all your CSS, you set up your uh, custom block theme template files, and then they can just choose from a list of however many you've set up. Uh, and you can do anything from, from putting rounded corners on one and styling links differently and laying out differently, all kinds of stuff that you can do uh, by using this block theme module. It's an awesome module. Uh, hopefully you'll check, download it, check it out, uh, play with it. Uh, we used it this last week and a client was ecstatic. Uh, everything worked perfectly. Uh, so hopefully it is helpful to you. Don't forget, check out my other podcast at geeksandgod.com. And if nothing else, I will see you next week on the Mustard Seed Media video podcast. Bye-bye.